vehicle I have here today is a 2015 Ford Fusion. The owner contacted me about six months ago wanting to get it taken care of. She was pregnant at the time and we just couldn't, weren't able to squeeze it in before uh, she had the baby. She just wanted this thing to get cleaned up really nice. Those of you that have kids, you know, once you have those newborns, you really don't have a lot of time for yourself. So I'm going to see if I can do her a solid and get this thing looking brand new again. I mentioned in my last video that my next one was going to be a disaster, and as you can tell, this thing is way up there on my list of dirty vehicles. Other than a couple of big trucks, I haven't done many Ford vehicles, and I gotta admit, I'm incredibly impressed by the quality of carpet in this Fusion. You're going to want to stick around to the end because I've included a ton of before and after shots. I'm also going to be trying something new in my videos. I'm one of those movie junkies that can quote almost anything from a movie after seeing it once. Somewhere in this video, I have a movie quote that I kind of tweaked a little to apply to detailing and to this video in particular. I'm also going to be doing my best impression of the character. The first person to comment with the correct movie and the character who said the line will get a shout out of my next video. I'd love to offer some kind of prize and maybe that'll come when this channel grows, but make sure you listen to the video carefully to see if you can catch this week's quote. The only hint I'll give is that this movie is an all-time classic. And as a little bonus, go ahead and rate my impression of the character that I do from 1 to 10. 1 being, sounds nothing like it. 10 being, I can't believe you hired this famous actor to do this line. The back seat and the metal panel underneath were the most disgusting parts to clean up. It looks like one of the owner's older kids got sick some time ago, and some of it happened to make its way down the seat belt slot. No worries though, as my vacuum and AP seal remove all signs of this mess. The seats were easily the most difficult part of this detail. The fabric was a very thin polyester that seemed to hold on to the grease. I started with my Terminator and Carpet Bomber combination, but even with the steamer, you'll see that it didn't remove much of the stains. I had to bring out the much stronger Super Clean degreaser. It took about three applications, but that combined with the steam removed all the stains from this nightmare of a seat. This back seat was the cream of the crop when it came to nastiness. I started with the bottom and back because that vomit had made its way down the seat belt notch. My daughter, who's now back from college, decided that she was going to help me with this part of the detail. But you can see she doesn't want anything to do with this part of the seat. We weren't sure exactly what the mess was at first, but once I added some liquid to rehydrate and remove the stain, uh, there was no mistaking that smell. This is where the Terminator Enzyme Cleaner really does a fantastic job of breaking down those biological contaminants and removing that smell. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone that's ordered products through my affiliate links below. It's awesome to think that more than 10 of you watching have found the products I use to be things that you find useful as well. I'm grateful for the support and I look forward to bringing you more great content and products in the future. Now, whether you've ordered anything from me or not, go on down in the comments below and let me know which product or tool I use that you think is most interesting or helpful in my details. I'll let you know mine at the end. One more thing I ask is you go down there and hit that like button. It helps every YouTube creator more than you can possibly imagine.
You can see that the top of this seat was even worse. It had many of the same stains as the front seat, and my helper and I worked in tandem to really go after those stains. We applied four or five treatments along with the steam, and we were able to get many of the stains out. The before and after shots of this cushion are impressive, but as is often the case with dark fabric, some of the stains reappeared after they were dried, and no amount of cleaning could get them completely removed. As much as it pains me to say as a perfectionist, sometimes detailers we must know when we've met our match and move on to areas where we can get better results. The most disappointing part of this Ford carpet was the fact that neither the carpet floor mat nor the all-weather floor mat extended up the footwell. They really looked like half mats. This is the cause for that salt stain that you can see. I was able to remove quite a bit of it, but once those types of stains set in, they're all but impossible to completely remove. Here's my oldest daughter helping out with the video a little bit more and I thought she did a pretty good job of following directions to get the trim on this driver's door clean. Between you and me though, I think she was more interested in being on camera and getting in the video than she was in cleaning. These all-weather floor mats did a great job of catching the dirt and sand. I'll get them cleaned up with some super clean drill brush and pressure washer. I also used the pressure washer to bring the carpet floor mats back to new condition. I told you in my last video I was going to get a toothbrush to try and get every nook and cranny of these all-weather floor mats cleaned. So I told these floor mats, say hello to my little toothbrush. The owner of the vehicle specifically asked me to look at this dirty spot on the headliner. I made sure to gently clean it with my Scrub Ninja and microfiber. Now sometimes I'll use steam on these, but this headliner was actually starting to come loose in spots on the passenger side, so I used the gentlest tools I had because I didn't want to exacerbate the problem.
this center console is full of spilled coffee and bits of food, but this is where my favorite tool I'm gonna show you is, my McCulloch steamer, it really shines. I love to use it to clean out all the lines in between trim pieces. You'll notice how it blows out all the filth and leaves it looking new. This is a tool I recommend everyone look at. It's the best $175 I've spent in this business. I have this model linked in the description below. The owner didn't want an exterior wash, but I made sure to clean the door jams anyways. Look how the blue paint just shines after a good cleaning. Since my daughter did such a great job of getting this trim properly clean, it's time to restore it and give it some UV protection with 303 Aerospace Protectant. I'll finish by cleaning this filthy glass. I'll always give credit to Larry at Ammo NYC for the tip to use a scrub ninja and a squeegee. This allows me to make sure I remove all the haze and oil buildup. Then I use the squeegee and microfiber to leave them streak free. Here's a little reminder to go down and give this video a like. It's the single biggest thing you can do to help the YouTube algorithm push my content out to more viewers so the channel can continue to grow. This fusion is now ready to transport the owner's newborn in style. Did you catch the movie quote? If so, head on down to the comments and put the movie in character. Also let me know if you are a fan of the movie. If you found the video satisfying, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Don't forget to also follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I also have a couple more great detailing videos on the left side of the screen. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.